everyone! So this is going to be re a review on the Kasten Washmatic washing machine toy. Um, I bought this off of Amazon. Right now it's on Amazon for $25. <clears throat> I think I may have gotten it at a lightning sale. Maybe a little bit less than that. Um, maybe $20 or so. But uh, we bought it a few years ago so it's a little bit older. They still sell it on Amazon, and it's actually a really fun toy. Um, my kids still play with this daily, and I keep it in their kitchen. Sorry, I have cats. <laughs> I keep it in their kitchen um, just to keep it out of the way. But this is nice because it's not too heavy. Um, it's really not, you know, it's a piece of plastic, so it's not too heavy. It actually is just like a washing machine. So there's a power button here power button. Press it once to turn it on. Um, and of course my kids have filled it with stickers as you can see. Um, so they put something in there like a hat or something, whatever. Sometimes it gets crazy and they put cars in there. They put, um, they put, you know, like play food and that kind of thing. But anyway, I'll show you how it works. Close it up. It comes with a little plastic bottle of Oh, there's a sticker, <laughs> sorry, of um, washing detergent. But, you know, of course, it's a closed plastic bottle. There's nothing really in it. It's just a small little washing detergent bottle. Um, it's cute. And so they close it up and then, oh, the power button turned off. Okay, power. So as you can hear, it sounds like it's filling up with water. And then they wash it. And it actually spins. And they love watching this spin. It's so funny to me. And they'll just stay here and watch it spin. And then they'll press the different buttons. Let me go wash. It's like it's really cleaning. Sometimes they get like their socks. I mean their dirty socks. And they put it in there and say, Mom, look, I did the wash. It's really cute, honestly. Okay, and then there's spin. So it goes a little bit faster. It actually also stops by itself. So I'm just going to wait until it stops just to show you how long it takes. Okay. So then it's all done. Um, and I think that's pretty cool. And then they just you press this button, take it out. And then they're like, Mom, look, I did the laundry. <laughs> it's really cute close it up again. Um, one thing I do like about this too is if you do not want to put the um, batteries in, you can actually just do it manually. So you just spin it like this and it still turns around. So if you do not want the noise, they can just do it manually themselves, which is also a good feature too, especially if the batteries run out and they're like, mom, I can't do it. It won't work. Just tell them to do it. Oh, just tell them to do it by hand. That's what they used to do in the old days, right? By hand. Um, so this thing has really lasted quite a long time with the batteries. Um, I'm so bad with batteries. I really have to look in there and see which ones there are. I wish they would tell you on the back here what batteries they take. Usually they do, but um, some toys don't. I, what I've realized just from doing these reviews is some toys do not tell you exactly what kind of batteries it takes, and this one doesn't, unless you open up the... Uh, battery pack with a screw there so I'm not going to do that um, but if someone really needs to know what kind of batteries it takes I'll be able to tell them I'll give you the link in the description box below if you want to buy this off of Amazon I'm not sponsoring this or anything of course um, it's this is just my review and my opinion of the product but okay so another thing one thing that I do not like about this that I just realized to go see my my other video it actually happening in my other video of how to remove stickers so I was removing stickers that my kids had put on the front of this with alcohol and um, just you know if you're just watching this video um, t uh, for the review just to let you know if you do buy alcohol you can remove the stickers from anything plasticky or glass even it doesn't have to be toys it can be anything around the house I actually removed some stickers that my kids put on the front of the stove with a little bit of alcohol of course while the stove was off um, also make sure you 
put this up high because it's, you know, something you do not want your children to get. But anyway, so I was trying to take off these stickers in the video and this ripped. And I thought this was part of the plastic. Like I thought this was printed plastic. I, can't, I don't know what I was thinking. So I ripped off the sticker and then this, this sticker started coming off. So I was like, oh man. So the thing is, is when we are done with our toys in our house, we usually consign them if they're in still in good condition. And this has remained in really good conditions, condition. This is something that I can sell again and probably get a few dollars for like a good amount of money and like $10 maybe I could have gotten for this. But now that this sticker is damaged, in order to consign this, what I'm going to have to do is remove this whole top sticker and just hope nobody notices because <laughs> I know that sounds horrible, but the, um, I'm going to see too if Amazon, sorry about my nails, but I'm going to see too if Amazon has another sticker and if it's cheap because, um, if it's cheap, I can replace this top sticker and still be able to sell this product at a consignment store and make some money. But you got to be careful. Like I said, at the other video, you have to be careful with the manufacturers websites or buying stickers sometimes they price stickers so high that if you do end up purchasing them you do not make any money on the product at the consignment event and that's when I will not consign anything I'll probably give it away or something like that because it's just I'm not gonna make any money for it from it and if I don't need it anymore I'll definitely give it away so um, I'm just gonna try to remove the sticker and see if maybe that then I can still consign it. A lot of times too, you can try consignment stores. Um, sometimes they don't mind about the sticker, but I would not bring this to a consignment store with a sticker like that. I don't think they would take it. Anyway, I guess it depends on the store. So, yep. So my kids have really like, they put a lot of stickers all over this other than the stickers. I mean, it's, it's held, held up so well, this door too that they've slammed this door so many times that um, it really just like stays in excellent condition. I think this is made really well. And I can't tell you how happy my kids are to have this. If it's right in their kitchen, it's not huge. Um, and this is a great toy, especially for Christmas. If you have um, a child that loves to clean or help out, this is a great toy for them. They will just be so happy. Um, whether they are two years old or they are five years old, I still think they're going to love this toy. Okay, so there's my review. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks. Bye.